Hello, my name is Diogo and I will make a brief summary about the discovery of quarks. By the beginning of 1960s, hadron physics was a chaos. The discovery of hundreds of strongly interacting particles made of particle physics and particles. Physicists needed the analog of the periodic table. But it wasn't until 1961 that Gell-Mann and Niemann introduced the Eightfold Way model, which gave an order to these particles. Hadrons were organized into geometrical patterns, and using these patterns they predicted an unseen particle, the omega minus. Then they introduced the quark model, in which hadrons are composite particles made of quarks held together by the strong force. To prove this model, deep inelastic scattering experiments were done at the Stanford Large Accelerator Center. Deep refers to the high energy of the lepton, which gives it a very short wavelength and hence the ability to prove distances that are small compared with the size of the target hadron. Inelastic means that the target absorbs some kinetic energy, and scattering refers to the deflection of the lepton. A beam of electrons were accelerated using the main 2 mile accelerator up to an energy E, which then passed through a liquid hydrogen target, and electrons that rebounded at a preselected angle theta were bent and focused by 5 electromagnets two dipoles and three quadrupoles, into the spectrometer. The electrons were momentum analyzed and discriminated from other particles. Analysis of the results led to the following conclusions. The hadrons do have internal structure. Baryons are made of three quarks. Mesons consist of a quark and an antiquark. Quarks appear to be point charges, just like the electron. The experiments were important because not only did they confirm the physical reality of quarks, but also made them the cornerstone of the standard model. In conclusion, quarks are real. Thank you. Bye.